It may be a little quieter than in previous years, but the welcomes were just as warm at the arrivals gate in Dublin Airport. Happy, happy. It's the busiest day of the Christmas period, but tightening restrictions at home and abroad left families like the Brennans unsure if their loved ones would make it. We're waiting for our daughter, his sister. My sister. She's coming in from Vancouver. Because she had to fly through the Netherlands, and Netherlands went into a lockdown last night, so we were thinking she wouldn't get home. Deirdre Hogan and her family flew in from Salt Lake City in the US for the first time in almost three years. We kind of thought maybe we need to put a plan B in place in our minds, um, but held out with the hope and then did everything we needed to do to prepare with our booster, with the negative COVID test and all of that. So, yeah, we're just so thrilled to be home. Jay Iyer led the charge to welcome his grandfather from Mumbai in India. Very, very much. Like, my voice is a little shaky right now. <laughs> We have waited very long for him to arrive, you know. It's been two years I've been able to hug him. <laughs> it's been two years too since Steve Kern and Emma Kinsella last made it back from Sydney, Australia. Not even being able to get out of the country for so long makes yeah. it all the more special. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully now the borders will stay open long enough for us to get back eventually. Yeah. <laughs> it's now estimated that around 850,000 people will travel through Dublin Airport between this weekend and the 4th of January. That's down around 40% on pre-pandemic levels. 1.5 million people travelled through the airport during the same period in 2019. But of course it is up on last year's figure of 235,000 when a temporary ban on arrivals from Britain came into force. Laura Fletcher, RT News at Dublin Airport.